It is a glorious feeling to get to the end of a video game. It's that real kind of catharsis of having beaten every puzzle, every combat encounter, everything that it took for you to get to that finish line. This is why it's especially effective and oftentimes infuriating when a game rewards all your efforts with a bad ending. And not just any old bad ending, which sees the player character simply fail in their objective. No siree, we're talking about the ones that manage to chill you to your very core and make you reevaluate the time you spent playing the game. I'm Jess from What Culture, and here are 10 disturbing video game endings that will haunt you forever. Number 10, Ending F, Clock Tower, SNES. Clock Tower is a point and click survival horror game from the SNES's glory days that helped lay the groundwork for the genre in several key ways and throwing macabre curveball endings at the player was certainly one of them. Players must guide orphan Jennifer Simpson to safety while she's stalked by Scissor Man, a deranged killer with a love for oversized cheers and chopping up teenage girls. In total, Clock Tower has eight endings, some of which see her overcoming the cavalcade of horrors and coming out of it pretty much unscathed. The rest are not so nice. If certain criteria aren't met by the time Jennifer reaches the titular clock tower, ending F is triggered, which sees Jennifer enter an elevator and the doors close behind her. There's a moment's silence before a crashing sound is heard, followed by screaming and the furious snapping of scissors. Blood then begins to seep out from beneath the elevator's doors and the screen fades to black as Scissor Man laughs. Its graphics and sound effects may be a little primitive by today's standards, but the impact of this ending and its sudden brutality will definitely get your stomach churning. Number 9. Failing to Defeat Kingpin – Spider-Man vs the Kingpin – Sega CD version Now this is the last list you'd probably expect to see your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, but this particular game happens to have a really brutal ending. After battling your way past the likes of Vulture, Mysterio, and Dr. Octopus, Spidey will eventually come face to face with Kingpin in a timed battle that has Mary Jane's life at stake. Failing to beat Kingpin within the time limit will lead to Mary Jane's demise, and Spidey angrily vowing for revenge. But there's one additional outcome that's even worse. If Kingpin or any of his bodyguards actually manage to deplete your health bar, you'll be awarded the game's worst possible ending. One that sees Spidey and Mary Jane unconscious and suspended above a large vat of acid. After delivering a little speech about how he's going to miss his old nemesis, Kingpin unceremoniously drops them both into the acid, killing them instantly. There's no screams or resistance, just straight up cold-blooded murder in the bluntest of fashion. It feels very at odds with the game's saturated and colourful style and child-friendly tone, but that's precisely what makes it so effective. Number 8. Bad Ending – Harvester Forever a lightning rod for controversy, Harvester is a point-and-click adventure game that aims to satirise the increasing levels of violence in video games by bombarding the audience with as much gore as possible. Players take on the role of ordinary Steve Mason, a regular teenager who awakes in the town of Harvest in 1953. A seemingly idyllic town that just so happens to be under the control of a mysterious cult, one that Steve must perform increasingly bizarre tasks for in order to escape. At the story's end, players are given the choice to reject the cult and net themselves the good ending, or they can choose for Steve to beat his girlfriend to death, rip out her skull, and offer it up to the cult, which ultimately releases Steve from their grasp. He then hitches a ride home with a stranger who he proceeds to kill and eat. Yes, somehow it got worse. The depravity then continues by having the camera go down Steve's throat and into his stomach to see the remains of the stranger being slowly digested, all the while his mother rants at him about how violent video games will rot his mind. Satirical or just plain sick? Number 7. Frozen Butterfly Ending – Project Zero Two – Wii Version it should come as no surprise that the famously macabre series Project Zero or Fatal Frame would make an appearance on this list. That said, you may be surprised to know that its most disturbing epilogue is exclusive to its Wii remake. The version that can be found on Nintendo's Little White Box of Joy saw a nice graphical update as well as some extra features and alternate endings that could be unlocked. The most notorious of which is the Frozen Butterfly ending, one that fans are still thoroughly creeped out by to this day. 
player character Mio manages to battle her way past the hordes of ghosts to rescue her sister Mayu, only to discover that Mayu is possessed by the spirit of Sae, the game's antagonist. Sae asks Mio to stay with her in the village forever, and before Mio has a chance to process what's happening, Mayu's hands begin to find their way to her throat before cutting to black. We're then treated to a delightful post credit scene where we're taken to a room full of dolls, in the middle of which sits Mayu, painting the lips of Mio's severed head. Lovely. Number 6. Night 5 Ending – Five Nights at Freddy's 4 The Five Nights at Freddy's series is, much like Project Zero slash Fatal Frame, no stranger to some disturbing content, but it's in the game's fourth installment that you can find perhaps the nastiest ending. Unlike previous titles, the action doesn't take place inside a themed restaurant. This time around, players are trapped within the dark confines of a young child's bedroom, controlling said child as he checks his closet and the nearby hallways for the most terrifying animatronics known to man. That alone is scary enough, but as you progress through each of the game's levels, or nights as they're referred to in-game, you begin to slowly piece together the story of a timid and often bullied child who is forever at the mercy of those around him. What starts off as simple name calling and pranks becomes something far, far worse. This all culminates in an event known as The Bite of 83, which sees the child being picked up by his brother and his cohort of equally nasty friends and having his head placed inside the jaws of a Freddy Fazbear animatronic, which proceeds to bite down and crush the poor child's head. Further endings do expand on this further, but fans will never forget their first time witnessing the bite. Number 5. Failing to Stop Kaneshiro – Persona 5 Whilst there are several uncomfortable scenarios that will unfold if you're unable to stop any of Persona 5's resident scoundrels and scumbags, perhaps the nastiest comes if you fail to stop Kaneshiro. Upon first meeting him, he makes several references to selling young girls into illegal services, and refers to both Makoto and Ahn as goods, which should give you enough of an indication as to how much of a vile creature he is. Should you fail to stop him for any reason, Makoto, best girl, is kidnapped, drugged and forced into prostitution before being discovered by the police and rescued. Throughout her drug-induced stupor, she kept repeating the name Joker, which leads the police directly to you. To make matters worse, not only does Makoto suffer a truly terrible fate, but Joker is then shot and killed whilst in police custody, making this one a double whammy on unpleasantness that could have been so easily avoided. All the upbeat acid jazz music in the world isn't enough to wash away the ickiness that this ending presents you with. Personally, I've completed Persona 5 and Persona 5 Royal and never knew about this ending, and now I wish I didn't. Number 4. Impregnating Alma – Fear 2 The Fear series seems to have slipped away into obscurity as of late, but for a lot of gamers that played it in its heyday, it is a cult classic for a reason. Although that's not to say that the horror elements sat well with everyone, and Fear 2's infamous final scene has been the subject of much scrutiny over the years. Upon reaching the final chapter climax, protagonist Michael Beckett finds himself locked inside a machine known as a psychic amplifier, with antagonist Alma. The plan being that Beckett will use his own amplified psychic abilities to finally defeat her. This doesn't go to plan, however, and Beckett begins to suffer a series of vivid and graphic hallucinations. Most worrying of all is the recurrent image that Alma seems to be forcibly having sex with him, though unfortunately, it seems like this vision is actually happening. Upon snapping out of his delirium and escaping the machine, Beckett discovers the world around him is on fire and that Alma is in fact pregnant. Beckett approaches her and places his hand on her stomach. We then hear the voice of a child saying the word mommy before the game cuts to black, leaving us to contemplate what just happened. Number 3. Ending 2 – I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream Perhaps the most infamous inclusion on this list, this particular point-and-click adventure game has been gnawing away at gamers' psyche since the mid-90s. The story focuses on Am, a supercomputer that wiped out humanity, save for five people, who it keeps alive and tortures for all eternity. One day, Am reveals to its captives that there are 750 humans stowed away in cryosleep, and that the five must prove that humanity is worth saving or the stowaways will be destroyed. 
players must navigate each of the five captives through a series of trials, which forces them to face their greatest fears, as well as sickening moral dilemmas. It's certainly not an easy game to get through, both in terms of its difficulty and hard to stomach content. But should you fail to prove humanity's worth, the last character you play as murders the other four captives before trying to kill themselves. But that's not before M turns them into a gelatinous creature unable to hurt itself. They're then forced to merely exist in this state forever, whilst Am reawakens and subsequently tortures the stowaways for all eternity. Between this and Harvester, the point-and-click genre has a lot to answer for. Number 2. Failing to rescue enough slaves and fuzzles – Oddworld Munch's Odyssey Whilst not the most beloved entry in the Oddworld series, Munch's Odyssey is an oft-forgotten gem from the original Xbox's heyday that's bursting at the seams with all the usual Oddworld charm that fans have come to love over the years. And part and parcel with that much-loved charm are the bad endings that will come about if you don't manage to save enough of your brethren from captivity. Where previous games saw Abe be eviscerated in a meat grinder or electrocuted in a tear extraction machine, this game went overboard with making you feel terrible for not putting in the work. Abe is beheaded off-screen and his head mounted on the walls of Viker's labs, but poor Munch suffers a much worse fate. Finding himself strapped to a surgery table, he overhears his captors telling the Glucken Queen that her new lungs are safe in their clutches, and he can perform the transplant later that day. The sheer look of terror on Munch's adorable mug is harrowing enough, but it gets even more horrific when the Vikers advance on him with numerous medical tools, forcibly removing his lungs whilst he's wide awake and screaming. So yeah, maybe next time you'll be a little more thorough in your rescue attempts. Number 1. Ending D – Haunting Ground While there's certainly no shortage of ickiness and disturbing content in the aptly named Haunting Ground, perhaps its worst possible ending is where your stomach is really gonna start turning. Throughout the game, Fiona and her lovable canine companion Huey must navigate the imposing Belly Castle and escape its numerous residents who want to do nefarious things to both Fiona and her body. One such resident is Ricardo, a failed clone of Fiona's father who seeks to be born again by using a supposed mystical power that resides within Fiona's womb, known as Azoth. Yes, I know, this is already getting really strange, but stick with me. If you don't form a strong enough bond with Huey before the game's final chapter, he will not come to rescue Fiona from Ricardo's clutches, which triggers the notorious ending D. This ending sees Fiona awake inside a glass case, with Ricardo on the other side. He gloats that she is now in his possession and will soon bear his child despite her protests. We then flash forward and see Fiona sat in a large armchair, only now she's heavily pregnant. Ricardo enters and gently caresses Fiona's bulging stomach, and she forces out a smile, seemingly accepting of her life of servitude and shutting herself down entirely. And that's our incredibly horrifying list! Do let me know down in that comment section if you can think of any other disturbing video game endings that have haunted you forever. As always, I've been Jess from War Culture. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you like, you can come say hi to me on my Twitter account where I'm at JessMcDonald, but make sure you stay tuned to us here for plenty more great content.